A new camp with an old name. We got the old sign for the old camp too. We painted it back with colors. Back in 2015, I made the documentary Up a River that told the story of the 100 plus hunting camps that had to be removed or abandoned in the Ottawa National Forest. Many camps are gone forever, but some have been fortunate to be relocated or rebuilt. I wasn't here that much for the building of it, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it went pretty smoothly. We usually worked on it on Saturdays. The original Agate Hilton was built in 1987 and was located along the middle branch of the Ontonagon River. The new one isn't located far from the original. I'd say as the crow flies right now, it's got to be a good, I would say good three miles, four miles. That's why I would say four miles. Yeah. One nice thing about this area here, there's a lot of oak, a lot of mass crop for the deer and stuff. So that's a plus for sure, definitely. And there are a lot of acorns this year, so I'm sure there's going to be a few deer scratching out back on the hills there for sure. I believe we poured the footings, it was April 30th, 17. That's when we got our footings in. So and then uh, put the cabinets in that week, first week of deer season. So we were here for our first season of 2017. Yep, well, well, because that was April 17, like when we poured the footings. So couldn't tell you when we last put the last nail in or whatever, but yeah, it's like everything, it's just still an ongoing project. There's always some little tidbit you can work on and stuff, you know, so. It helps when you got two guys, well, there's three of us in the camp now, and it helps when two of them are contractors. <laughs> so that made, <laughs> that made a big difference, so. But we had help from a lot of people stopped by and threw a hand in and all that stuff, so. And as you can see, we utilized some of our old camp, like the cedar shakes on the two walls here, so we, uh. I went down and pulled the shingles off and brought them up here and nailed them on and I think it turned out pretty nice. And Bill here came up with the idea of the tin on the walls, which I like definitely. And got a pretty nifty little shelf set up there with the piping. And of course we transferred all our mounts and everything from the old cam. The other one was 16 by 24 and this one's 20 by 28 and then we have that eight foot covered porch on the front which is very nice yeah yeah that's an excellent excellent addition definitely throwing that on there makes a big difference building the new camp sounded a lot easier than building the old camp no comparison whatsoever yeah. everything down there with three-wheeler and a trailer and they came out here with the big truck and dropped off the material so it was right here it was much easier to build here. Yeah, when we were building the camp, we uh, were hauling some lumber down there, and we had three-wheelers at that time, the big red three-wheeler, and you had a Yamaha three-wheeler, and he was acting as my brake man. We, he was tied behind me, pulling a load of lumber down there. All of a sudden, I heard, ah! <laughs> and I looked, and I see them just sailing over the bank, but down into the woods there. So thank God he didn't get hurt, but. That was just one of our incidents on the old old camp yeah. there. So, yeah, it was definitely that was definitely a challenge building that one down there. The ride out there was the best part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Up and down those hills. And... They missed the river, but the new location has its perks. But the old river camp, you know, it was uh, it was a journey, as they say, getting there, no doubt. And this obviously was a. Uh, a lot easier to get to, so we've had a lot more people showing up, a lot more friends stopping by, and a lot more of the ladies, like Bill's wife and friends, they all like coming out here where the old river camp was. Uh, that was quite a journey for them, so they didn't really care for that. But So we get actually quite a few people stopping by. We had quite a few little soirees out here. So Yeah, matter of fact, we got uh, the winter solstice party coming up December 21st. So. That's getting to be an annual thing. We string out the Christmas lights and all that and have a little get together. No, they're planning on getting a Christmas tree for this year. It's a 365 operation yeah. out here now, definitely. Definitely year round. Yeah, for sure. Which is definitely nice. And we got a power plant out here and while we're hooked up for gas lights and electric and TV and everything. So it's kind of a home away from home. 
They still have the memories of their old camp to laugh about while creating new memories in their new camp. Well, another one, too, was these guys were laughing at me. I told them that I grabbed the lawn chair and I stuck it in the woods. And I said, I'm going to sit there next morning. And they all laughed at me. Eight o'clock in the morning, I shot a nine point there. Just walked by it. Yeah, it was a good spot. And I shot a ten point a few years later out of the same chair. Yeah, I have to admit that's true. <laughs> <laughs> when I stopped to visit, there was nothing hanging on the buck pole yet. We have not got anything right directly out of here. I, in my wisdom, had a pretty nice eight point the last week of October that I let go for some strange reason, <laughs> which I'm deeply regretting right now. So, but other than that, we've seen a few decent bucks around for sure. So, I think this is going to be the year we break the ice and someone's going to get one for sure. I can just about guarantee it. Camp is where you hang your antlers, tell big buck stories, and where you gather with friends and family. Good luck to the egg at Hilton Camp this deer season. I hope you bag your first camp buck. And good luck to all the rest of you hunters out there. <laughs>